Ryan Johnson, the friggin' man. Great movie, but he absolutely ruined the Star Wars franchise for anyone who wants to make a Star Wars movie. Nobody friggin' wants to make one anymore. Uh, there is some... He did great stuff with The Force, but none of the fans give a crap and are just gonna blame everything on, like, Mary Sue's and stuff. They went through the Ray storyline, so no one can work with that, other than what can they do with Ray later, which I thought about now. Um, Kylo Ren, Snoke's gone, so there's not much else for him to do. Then again, in Return of the Jedi, well, Return of the Jedi, they could have done a lot more, I guess, but now it has to be Return of the Jedi for Episode Nine. I think Ryan Johnson already know that. So, they could have done more Snoke. They could have done the whole Kylo Ren, Rey Alliance thing. But they didn't do that. They could have done more with Poe and more with Finn. And that wasn't done. And everybody likes those characters. And... There's a lot of wasted potential in this second. It felt like it's not supposed to be in episode 8. Maybe in episode 9. Maybe not part of the canon at all. And that's a bit of a problem. Like, they took a lot of risks. The Force stuff is great, but, like, nobody wants to do a Star Wars film. They took risks. And now that risk has been done in a Star Wars canon film. And the fans hate it. It might never be done again. So no indie director will want to take Ryan Johnson's spot as the Empire Strikes Back director. Dave Cronenberg, Dave Lynch. Dave Lynch didn't want to do it in the 70s. He's definitely not going to do it now. Because, like, there's going to be no risk. Everybody... Every film is going to be done by J.J. Abrams. Do a lot of fan speculation. Some writing that's very vague, but crowd-pleasing. And every indie director is going to hate it. All these garbage Marvel's directors who do everything that fans eat up. That are done in a year with fan and comic book speculation. With the Grey Jedi and like. They won't use Ultron and all those kind of risks. Those are gone. In comes J.J. Abrams Force Awakens films. The all copy of New Hope. Thank you Rian Johnson. You've ruined Star Wars. <laughs> it's great. 